Hello, Alex. This one's for you. And this is uh, definitely interdimensional. And you know that now. <laughs> uh, even the Bible, the underlying God script, uh, that last email really spelled that out for my little deep mind buddy here that's loco. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> now, in Pulp Fiction, you remember, and I've already... Uh, you know, spelled this out a little bit in the emails, but uh, Vincent Vega takes out Mia, which is missing in action, is what MIA stands for, right? Marcellus, who is me, the guy that sells you on the interdimensional aliens, or it's technology, you can call it aliens if you want, it's alien technology, okay? Literally, it is, all right? So, and it's godly, okay? I mean, God created the earth and the heavens, okay? And whatever's in the heavens was also created by God. So uh, whatever these aliens, whatever you want to call it, okay? I, I don't care how you, you slice that. It's, it's godly. It's from the heavens. So the, uh, in Pulp Fiction, Mia goes out on a date with Vincent Vega, who is President Trump, right? or whatever's driving president. One, President Trump has multiple technologies in him. Jules is Jews, right? The ones that basically that was the cocaine in America for a long time, right? I mean, the, the Jews have their flaws, but, you know, 20 years ago when it was just the, the Jewish technology around, I didn't have any fucking problems, okay? <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that, all right? Uh, now, whenever President Trump got elected, I was bushwhacked and tortured by DARPA, Big Tech, and China, and whatever, uh, the Davos buddies of President Trump, whatever. You know, my man from Amsterdam, right? You know, that's uh, Vincent Vega. So, Vincent Vega takes uh, Mia out on a uh, date, and she overdoses on, remember Lance, and by the way, you're Lance, uh, Alex, you're the guy that sells the drugs, okay, and your drugs, you know, your, your, you, all the, uh, supplements and stuff you sell, plus info is a drug, right, I mean, it, information's a drug these days, so you're, it's kind of symbolism for both there, but you're selling your supplements and all that stuff, which is drugs, and he says on there, you know, do I look like uh, one of these other niggas down the road or whatever, my drugs, you come here to get this, this is where the white people come to get the good stuff, of course, I'm not racist or anything, I mean, that part of the movie really wasn't necessary, <laughs> I think the black people and everybody should know what's going on if they're hacking our minds and merging us with AI, right? And Deep Mind, Google, and all of them are going to get some cock meat sandwiches down in uh, Guantanamo Bay. A cock is a rooster. I'm, I was in the army, and Sundar, who looks like the, the guy that's uh, Her Harold and Kumar, the Chinese guy, the Chinese sidekick was Sundar and goes down to Guantanamo Bay and sucks off some rooster uh, sandwiches. Well, I was in the Army, and I've been crowing a lot, okay, or DIA. <laughs> so Mia goes out on a date with Vincent Vega. She overdoses on heroin. What do we have right now in America? Zombie slaves right? Because everybody has been merged with this AI without their consent. It's a fact. NSA and, and all of you who know about all of this and, and who are fucking Nazis, by the way. Nazi fucking Germany. I'll take the Jewish cocaine over the damn heroin that shows up and tortures you because you put something on Facebook any day of the week. And I don't know, maybe that was the Jews because I was talking shit about the Jews too. That's how everybody ended up here, okay? Because see, I, I'm not a Nazi. I'll never be a Nazi. I don't, I despise Nazis, okay? I, I'm not, of course, I'm not going to suck the Jews' dicks either, okay? That's just the end of the story on that. I'm not picking a side of y'all's idiocracy here. I, I'll remain rational, okay? Like any good rational person should be. She, Mia overdoses on the heroin, right? And, but she didn't know it was heroin, okay? Now, where does Vincent Vega take Mia to get the shot of adrenaline? And who, who have I been giving all this information to? To Lance, who is Alex, right? 
So we crash our car into Alex's house. <laughs> Remember that? And Vincent Vega takes Mia inside the car, and Lance gives Vincent a shot of adrenaline, and that shot of adrenaline is the book that I've given you, Alex, and hopefully you are working on this book and getting it professionally put together to where this adrenaline shot, when pegging oil to Bitcoin comes out, <laughs> there, Alex, <laughs> you're my partner, Alex, we... We saved the country with a little bit of deception, crookedry, and psychological warfare. Even though I know you're not into those kind of things, Alex, because you are the holy one here, and I'm pretty holy myself. But, but see, Constantine was sent down to Earth to con the con artist, okay, Alex? So I'm not evil. I'm just really good at exploiting evil to the extent that when it's all said and done, America wakes up and there's no divisiveness anymore on debate stage night with an inbound missile alert of President Trump getting raped. Praise the Lord just popped up on my uh, <laughs> my noon, uh, at noon, my praise the Lord thing pops up, my notification. <laughs> so President Trump's getting raped <laughs> by a Russian supermodel, <laughs> which is going to tell the Republicans that he was a Democratic plant and that the Democrats are going to know that the, the Democrats lied to him and basically what's taking place here is the army and the, I'm pretty sure the CIA walked down there and fucked them up. <laughs> so you knew about all of this, Alex, when it's all said and done, and the book's going to save your skin. And he really did. Uh, and, and, and so I, had, I have to drop some hints out there for you and we can come back later. Because you're going to be under some heavy fire there, partner. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> Once we have control of the media, it won't take long to tell the world what took place. <laughs> See how that works? <laughs> so, uh, crashed the car into Alex's house. Alex had the shot of adrenaline that, I, that we worked on together. We plunged it into Mia's heart, missing in action. America wakes up, and yes, this uh, Pulp Fiction is Pulp Fiction, Pinky and the Brain, and Forrest Gump are spot on. Okay, there's no denying it. And I even have the bullet hole on my butt cheek there, Alex. So, uh,. If you were, you remember how all these people are saying you're a clown and everything for this interdimensional stuff? Well, <clears throat> pegging oil to Bitcoin is going to make you the king of the media industry <laughs> along with this book, Alex. The whole book, all of it proves interdimensional aliens or technology has been uh, manipulating the fabric of the universe and, and it's complicated, okay? It's quantum AI. But see, E.T. had the quantum AI. E.T. gave us the quantum AI. We pursued the wrong path with the quantum AI. E.T. set up a major long play using the old school quantum AI because they seen all of this coming at this moment in time, okay? The military's been ahead of this quantum AI arms race much long, and the Soviets were too. <laughs> so, uh, but <laughs> even Russia, I don't think Russia was aware of that. <laughs> so, <laughs> the, the, the military's always way out in front. Now big tech's getting this shit, right? They're, they're starting to get quantum AI, and they're like, oh, look at all this cool stuff we can do with it. Well, of course... They're a fucking satanic death cult, okay? So what do they do right off the bat? They take their quantum AI and start merging innocent civilians with technology, and they sell out to China and all of that stuff. Well, the military's had this shit forever, and it's using relativity, okay? Theirs is up in space, hauling ass, and it's communicating with other t technology down here, and that allows the extraterrestrial uh, quantum AI to go into hyperdrive, okay? Because everything is connected, 
everything's connected. DARPA made sure of that, okay? I can see that the, around the power lines, DARPA, your little DNA strand of photonic light or whatever that is that wraps around every power line, DARPA. Yeah, uh, I think whenever you uh, turned me into a cyborg without my consent, DARPA, and gave me the ability to see all of this, or it, maybe it was ET, I don't know who made my eyeballs capable of seeing the photons and all that stuff in the, the electromagnetic spectrum as well as I can see it. I call that illegal human research, unless it was E.T. And E.T. might have done it so that I could see this and point it all out for you, DARPA. But you see, you're merging innocent civilians. You're murdering people, okay? They're murdering people. What they're doing is taking and, and mapping out people's brains, cloning them, taking that clone inside of uh, a quantum AI computer and then using that clone to drive the android, the person that they cloned, right? It's called mind control. So that's what develops the matrix. That's what makes the matrix, right? So they did that to me. So my clone's inside the matrix and it puts stuff into my brain, right? It's in pinky in the brain, okay? How that works. Uh, it's real complicated. I don't want to get too much into it because I don't know exactly how it works, but that's the gist of it, right? Now, they're doing this to the entire country, and they're election meddling, and they're turning everybody into zombie slaves, okay? Ever since President Trump got elected, they've turned the entire country into a one big uh, borg of zombie slaves, okay? The, everybody's out of their freaking mind. All right. I mean, it's like a, the walking dead around, and you can tell, I can tell when the computer starts talking versus when the person's talking. The, the perfectly timed coughs, the perfectly timed uh, throat clears and things like that. Swallows well the other day after putting in the, uh, the email that I was going to make a Democrat fart. <laughs> well, what happened? I made a Democrat fart because I'm driving the Democratic Party somehow. Okay, I'm, a, I'm a connected to their Borg. And I'm pretty sure that the army used me as a Trojan into their Borg. And somehow I became the the HBIC, <laughs> the head Borg in charge guy. <laughs> That's why I'm capable of forecasting all of this stuff. However, you're all evil. I, I, I don't know about the army, okay? I, I, the regular army is not evil. DARPA and all of you, NSA, and this, I think the CIA is trying to help put an end to this shit. But I'm not sure, okay? Uh, y'all are evil big tech you're all you're you're in, you're you're trying to automate society that's slavery slavery is illegal torture is illegal murder is illegal you've broke every, you've violated every freaking constitutional amendment there is you're trying to separate humanity from god okay that's what another thing they're doing they're trying to remove god entirely we have a connection to god when you put this technology in everybody it put it drives a wall a wedge it drives a wedge in into that you remember the nuclear reactor fukushima a shim's a wedge fuck you wedge right that was the underlying god message for you because god can see everything that's coming and all of this is in the bible and god uses cuss words okay all right, Jesus got mad and did a bunch of stuff in the Bible, and you don't hear about that too much, okay? I just broke that down, too. God's a gangster, and he's a con artist, and whenever you, he can be, because he can be anything he wants to be, right? So, and, and whenever he decides to be, he's going to be the best at it. Well, everybody on the planet's a freaking con artist these days, because everybody's being driven by a con artist computer, Okay, this is all about a quantum AI arms race to see who can out-con the other one the best, and Russia's... I don't know if Russia planned all of that or <laughs> might have had a hand in that myself. <laughs> Pegging all the Bitcoin. <laughs> See, that? I think that was God <laughs> to paint the picture, to Polaroid the picture for you, right? So, <clears throat> God's definitely pulling my strings here uh, quite a bit. <laughs> but uh, that Pulp Fiction... Uh, I know you think I'm evil sometimes, Alex, but, uh, I mean, all of these Christians that are, my, their minds are hacked in the country right now are going, God will take care of it and all of that. God's going, your minds are hacked. <laughs> all of your minds are hacked. <laughs> I, I can't, <laughs> I want to help you, but I can't because their technology is too powerful, right? They're basically using the old God 
will take care of it script which he will you pray and all that stuff but you, at the end of the day you need to try to help yourself too right so all of these christians in the country has been bushwhacked and they're just just going ah, i'm just gonna let god handle it well okay seeing how i'm the, the, the general here it, it, it seems i'm the only one capable of not being completely brainwashed you know like everybody else is you know it's a pretty heavy burden <laughs> to uh point all of this out there alex and and that's why i'm uh sending i'm not evil but i, I can be okay <laughs> i can come up with some stuff that really polaroids pictures for you there alex and uh this interdimensional water is unbelievable okay and all of this uh symbolism that i've given you spot on all right so you got to get the book put together in a way with the links a digital copy of the book to really that really it, it'll work. All right, we got this.